well, I love my wife. Um, yeah, the uh, FPO, as I call her, the fishing permission officer, giving me the nod to uh, go out. I'm only doing a, the one night tonight, but I'm going back up the tea kettle just to um, give it another bash. I so I'm only up there till sort of tomorrow mid morning, maybe lunchtime, depending on what's going on. It's now about, yeah, it's just gone one o'clock in the afternoon, Friday. Literally, I just threw everything in the back of the truck. So, um, I'm just hoping I've remembered everything. I think I have. Looks like I have, considering I'm only going for a night, looks like I'm going for a bloody week. So yeah, on the A1, heading north. Just hitting a little bit of heavy traffic now. People having half days and stuff. Weather forecast, reasonable. Northeasterly winds, which aren't the best. Um, temperature is dropping tonight. Looking at down to sort of three. Further north, they're looking at minus four. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too silly because um, I'm saying my, my winter sleeping bag was put away about three weeks ago. I was hoping these cold snaps had disappeared, but we shall see. Yeah, northeasterly wind. Not sure yet where I'm going. Um, there's a lot of fish in front of sort of peg seven, eight, uh, six last weekend. Um, out in front of 14 as well, around that area. There was another fish in 15 that was caught. So I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm not, I haven't got any preconceived ideas where I'm, I fancy going. However, them sort of areas I'll have the wind blowing from. If I'm on the six, seven, eight, I'll have the wind blowing from right to left, down in towards the area where I was fishing last week. But we'll see, I can't see the fish being on this wind because it is, it is quite cold. Although my temperature gauge on the car is reading 14, again, it's that wind chill factor that, that really knocks it. So we'll see when I get there. I'll pitch up sort of halfway down the bank. Uh, the track's open now, so we can drive down. See if I can see anything. Like I did last week, the fish were quite kind to me last week, showed themselves pretty quickly, so. We'll just have to wait and see. But I will uh, do a bit of an update when I get there. Got here probably about half an hour ago, three quarters of an hour ago, having a good look round. Um, I haven't seen one of the fish show. That was on the tee for the wind. The, the wind isn't quite, it's more like a northerly than a, a northeasterly at the moment. It's really smashing into uh, peg seven, eight, nine. Uh, sorry, seven and eight, six, seven, eight. Um, come round to the nice side, swim 14. And uh, yeah, it looks all right. I'm just dropping some gear off in here now. I've just had a quick lead around again, never fished this swim. So just push the lead around a little bit. Nowhere near as weedy in these swims as it is around the far side. Um, I had a bit of a lead around. It's, you know, say it's not clear, clear, but it's a lot better than where I was. 10 is over that side. Uh, Axel was just setting up, oh, he's in nine and his friend Nick has just turned up, he's fishing in 10 where I was last week. Uh, one other angler in eight, um, and then there's two guys round to my left. But this reed margin here, it's out of the wind, got the sun on it, it's, it's got to be fishing there. It's where I'd want to be, in the warm. Um, but yeah, I've had a lead around there, 50, 60 yards out really punched the lid at one point found the weed brought it back until I couldn't find the weed anymore um, well not as dense any, anyway so yeah quite happy with a few errors so anyway get my stuff sorted literally I brought my barrel with me so I'm 
carrying it all. Um, not that it's very far, but uh, yeah, so I want to get sorted now and I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted once I'm set up. Well, all set up now. Uh, rods are out. House is up. Body's up. Just had my dad just pop down and see me. I managed to get the rods out before um, before he got here, so I wasn't delayed this evening like I was last week. But yeah, I've got the wind blowing from behind me. I've just been up to the car to get the last few bits. My God! It's got a bite to it. They're saying it's dropping down to about three degrees tonight, so I can well imagine. But as it is in the moment, the sun is out still. Although it is cold. Seen one fish, but that's further around to my right, where they were shown last week. But you've got two guys on that bank now, on the in nine and ten. They're set up and fishing now. But we'll see. Bait's in the water. There's always a chance. wasn't expecting that last time. Um, it did turn cold, it turned bloody cold. It's a ground frost. Um, it's been up to the car, that's <laughs> that's sort of iced over. I've got ice on the inside of the brolly. Um, everywhere's white. I was hoping it wasn't because I've only got my um, sort of spring and summer sleeping bag with me, which has been fine the last few times I've been out. I've been nice and warm in it, but last night, oh, that was cold. Um, yeah, it's been very quiet though. I had a, I had a line on my left hand rod. I actually moved it. I got them out yesterday, so I got one off the reeds round to my left, one out in front, and then I had one um, having open water. It seems that the the weed. Is, um, is sort of clear out in front and to the left and then it starts coming up to the right so I just found some weedier spots for the middle and right hand rod and just fished off them in the clearer area but then um, it must have been about five o'clock yesterday afternoon yesterday evening fish crashed really close in around to my left so I swung a rod really close picked a liner up on that within about half an hour would like to think it was a, a carp could be a pike and I do like any edges around here but yeah it's um it's a cold morning this morning it's now about 20 to 6 on my second cup of tea <laughs> just trying to keep get yourself warm up again I've got me. lucky enough I bought my winter clothes with me, bib and brace and stuff, so I'm reasonably warm. It looks like it's going to be a lovely, lovely day. That sun's just coming up over there, just breaking through them trees, over the, the flats of the fens. But yeah, that... Twenty swans land near last night as well, so they're causing a lot of rackets. The, the two nesting, or the nesting pair that are on here, they were chasing them around most of the night. I think they're sort of giving up on it now. But yes, yeah, so I've got one rod just off the point of the reeds there, and then the other one, the left-hand rod, is in this little bay here to the left, where, where I saw that fish show, and then. 
my right hand rod is now in line with the end of those trees, the left hand side. But, um, just short of 16 wraps out there. Sporadic weed, again nothing to worry about. But I keep my eyes peeled, I've only got probably about five hours left. I don't see anything showing. I've got sticks made up again, so anything showing, I can just bang them out. On top of the head of the fish that shows. But yeah, it's it's cold. Everything's white. I haven't fished. I know the temperature that dropped that much that quickly in a long time when I've been fishing. But hey ho. Hey. No such thing as bad weather, just inappropriate clothing. Well, there we go. Worth the effort. This was um, that rod that I dropped just in the edge last night when I saw the fish turn over. Um, left hand rod, only about four or five yards from the bank, I suppose, if that. So, uh, yeah, just rattled off while I was having a cup of tea. Beautiful scaly thing. Let's look at the other side. <coughs> there we go. So that was caught on a, uh, again, a 10 mil nut job and Stella Yella pop up this time. A little stick. No freebies around that at all then literally just the just the stick so yeah more than happy with that Blue that bite really. The wind has swung slightly now. No oh, fat. It's actually looking at it now. It's actually swung more or less 180 degrees from what it was blowing yesterday. So it's going to be a sort of a uh, westerly now, I suppose. Swirling around, to be honest. But um, yeah, I'd say it was just uh, out of the blue. I've had cooch diving on my middle rod and picking that up a couple of times, which. To be honest, at first that's what I thought it was. So a couple of bleeps, the hangers pulled up tight. I was waiting for it to drop, but it didn't. It pulled out the clip, and um, yeah, it was gone. So uh, yeah, nice result, 16 and a half pound. Beautiful scaly thing. So yeah, more than happy with that, especially the way that temperature dropped last night. Because uh, to be honest, I didn't um, hold much hope for a bite this morning. That pressure is bound to have flown through the roof now. It's nice and bright. Yeah, but uh, when they happen like that, it's all the bit sweeter. Well, that's it. From another end to a, another session. It's only 22 hours, I suppose, I've been there. Should have been leaving about two hours ago, but bumping into other members and bits and bobs end up gassing. So I'm about two hours behind where I should be at the moment. So yeah, just heading home now. And another really enjoyable session on there, albeit bloody cold. That temperature did, did drop last night. But I managed to put a fish on the bank, which is the main thing. Not sure when I'm gonna be out again next. Uh, we got the Shelters Open Day happening on the 14th of April. 
So if uh, anyone's available and want to come down, you've got loads of different tackle manufacturers going to be there. Um, myself, Gary Spencer, um, Steve Evans, we're going to be on the, uh, the premium carp fishing stand. So if you want to come down for a chat and a coffee, then obviously you're more than welcome. Until next time, get out there and enjoy yourself. And remember, it's only fishing. Thank you.